Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel. Here at our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for years by stocks. Today, we'll talk about Shift Pix Incorporated, ticker name Pixit, traded at Nasdaq. Well, today we have very interesting price action here, uh, huge volatility, and this very big upwards uh, positive. Uh, actually a shadow, but now it didn't hold uh, in the vicinity of 40.45, so we declined all the way down and trading at the moment uh, 18.97, really enormous volatility, like actually 300% up, down we go here. And of course, the question is what's next, because overall this position you can see is extremely volatile. Also previously in the May, June action, you see we, we were running in the same range, like from 20 to 50. And again and again, so one of the most volatile stocks at the moment, I think, on the market. And now the question is what's next? Because um, just a few days ago, well, even actually a previous trading session, we were quite low. Now we are, we've tried today go to 50, didn't work, 45, and now we are 18, 94. So the question is what to do here? Because overall, it seems to be still promising to go higher and... That could be the case, but here's actually a very interesting kind of situation when we have uh, two bearish and well, actually two um, parameters, both in charge, bearish and bullish. So we need to kind of trade off between both to understand what's happening. So first of all, about unclear parameters, it's RSI clearly rebouncing here, you can see, but now kind of in the middle. So not decisively um, bearish or bullish could go either way. Uh, MACD histogram also made negative wave kind of from uh, previous two days training sessions. Now trying to pierce quickly upwards, but still could be showing negative volatility, actually similar to what we saw here in June, July uh, kind of uh, action. It could be uh, having a little bit slide down and then return. Similar situation was also happening here, slide down and return and then further slide down. So we can anticipate a similar behavior here and that will define for us the same trade. So overall, of course, you can say the distance between moving average 200, the red line and current price action and other two moving averages 20 and 50 being green and blue lines correspondingly here is quite big, this distance. So it means that there is still a lot of um, pressure upwards on the longer term. But now that's it is what it is. So we might expect still Fulfilling of the shadow, this also is possible, so the price actually can, can go higher immediately, or we could make some U-shape like formation like we had in these previous two circles we described. But I would more bet for U-shape with possibility of uh, filling up. So with our non-linear approach of averaging down, this is actually a very interesting stock to trade. Again, volume was traded today very high, so um, yeah, it would be easy a little bit to short, but not that much. So how to trade here? First of all, um, if we will be expecting kind of immediately fulfillment on the shadow, meaning that the price would with volatile within the lower part of the sh of the upper sh of the, this upper shadow from today, it means we can buy and sell here. In this way, moving average 50, the blue line will continue as a resist level. So we can actually, uh, if we would draw it like this, this would be actually our resist level. Let's make it uh, dashed. And with this being said, we can actually define how we would trade because then I would buy anywhere below the current price and all the way actually to here, defined by price section here. So this is the first range to enter, if it would be possible. So between 17, 27, 19, 26, and then sell at the dashed line. It could still pierce higher, but it's already quite enormous volatility here. So I think um, decent profit taking should be a reasonably quite reasonable here. Don't try to really like go super high because you can just stuck and position could expire and, and decline. So if it goes lower, then of course the next level of defense will be on this shadow, just clearly defined by the downward shadow of previous trading session, which will be between 17, uh, 11, so, uh, 67 and 1396. And then if we demagnify, we see historically there is nothing, no way we can actually uh, look in the uh, kind of horizontal lines, so we need to think of descending trend lines if there are any and for that of course and we can uh, continue this still we are way uh, let's say protected with this one and therefore I don't even anticipate anything to go really really lower than the current uh, the second level therefore we will play it on two levels here what does it mean it means that the money you would like to play here you can split actually in three portions and then 
uh, you can buy in the first level with one portion and with another two portions you can buy through the second level and then whenever the, it rebounds just when you have 10% profit from average price just take it don't hesitate don't try to be too greedy so that's the way to trade here quite positive although volatile so we should be carefully entering but if you do it carefully it could be quickly uh, rewarding so with this being said that's all for pixie if you like this way of trading this way of analyzing stocks don't forget to subscribe to our channel press the bell button this way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for us by stocks